freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. How are you? I'm still recovering from my illness. <laughs> Today's Tuesday, uh, the video, the last video went live Friday. So, sorry, it went live Sunday, edited Saturday, recorded Thursday, Friday. So it's only three days after uh, the last video that went live that I actually recorded. So I'm still recovering. I am definitely a lot better. It's just a bit of a croaky voice and a bit of a cough, but I'm, I'm much better than I was. Anyway, here she is. We're just doing our daily checks, make sure everything's all okay with the truck. So all of our lights are on. Just gonna go around the back of the trailer as well, make sure all that's done. We're uh, keeping our on the tires. Give them a good kick, make sure they're all okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, today we're going up to Stirling in Scotland. No idea what we're doing from Scotland. Not entirely sure if we're actually gonna get it off today either. We should do. Check in the back, look, back's all okay with the trailer. Lovely jubbly. I did park a little bit close last night because we did say if anyone come back to the yard, make sure you park as tight as you can this side so then others can get in because it's a bit snug with those trailers parked opposite. So I think Kieran's parked there, so I decided to get over as far as I can. So anyone else come in, they got a bit of a wider swing to get in because, uh, yeah. There's a couple of trailers over there, which makes it a little bit difficult just to get in, but we're all good. Just gonna check the, the uh, tires on the truck as well now. Lovely. Obviously have a good look at the front of the truck. It's all good. good. I, um, I got me, we had um, an inspection on this truck last week. I got them to change a couple of, um, low bar lights because I think that one there was out um, yeah that one there was out and a couple on the side was out as well so right, I think that orange one on the side wasn't working and it wasn't working on the other side either so now the orange lights are working on the side the only one that isn't working is the one smack bang in the middle that one there we'll get that one done sooner or later but I do have stuff planned with this truck I got a couple of lollipops which are going to go here. So it's uh, orange this side, red on the back. We got some side steps to go on as well. So there'll be a couple of extra yellow lights just there. Uh, what else we got? I might change all of the white ones to orange because I think that looks nice. Uh, and maybe, hopefully, uh, we'll get a, a pop of bar put on the top on, on the top saying Harry and Sons. We'll have to see, but anyway, daily check is done. Let's get cracking. I'm not 100% sure this is going to get delivered today or not. I don't know. If we left right now, we wouldn't be there till half past two this afternoon. Plus, we need a 45 minute break on the way up. So that's quarter past three. And we're not loaded yet. And we've got to strap up. I think we're going to be looking to be getting there dead on four o'clock. And that's normally the, the crossover point between tipping and not tipping. So. I don't know. Last time I uh, went up to Stirling, I started from Wigan, I think. So we got up there and got it delivered, and then I went and got a collection afterwards, but I don't know whether this is going to get delivered or not today. Not bothered either way. We'll, we'll try our best, but I think we could park up outside of their place. Um, yeah, because we're going to be on about eight hours driving as well, so we won't have far or much driving time remaining to actually go anywhere else afterwards. You're going to do nine hours driving, extended to ten twice a week not often recently do we ever actually go into a tent but let's see no i think someone's coming over now to call me in okay now we're getting loaded now we're getting loaded 
Happy days, happy days. Okay, we are loaded. We've got our paperwork. Before I just show you the load, so we're fully loaded with double stacked pallets, triple stacked there. Fully loaded. This is weighing in at, hang on, 28 tons uh, on the bed. So we are weighing 16 tons empty. Uh, yes, 20 and 16 is 44 ton. Uh, we're not exactly 16 ton empty. We're like 15 ton 800 or something. Uh, so total weight is going to be something like 43,800 uh, kilograms. Uh, so 43.8, which is just under 44 ton. So we're at maximum weight almost. Show you again, look. So that's the load we got on, fully loaded, almost right to the back. And uh, this is going to there, basically. Stirling Station Road. It's their own branch, so it's a stock transfer. Been there before. I'm hoping we can park outside either before we tip and then tip in the morning or after we tip. I'm hoping. Anyway, let's jump back in the truck and let's get cracking. So, just having a look at the lorry driver next door to us and he is putting two straps over each pallet. I don't know whether that's a wind counter thing or not, I don't know. Two straps over each pallet. I don't know, we've used uh, 14 straps, I think it was. I think it was 14 straps in total. So if I double strapped each one, that would be 28 straps for me. That's uh, that's quite a lot of straps, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we've, I'm pretty sure we used 14 straps. In fact, one of them, the one that's triple stacked, I've, I've put a strap over that single one on the top and then the two, because it's all sort of in the middle of the two pallets, I've also strapped the, the double stacked ones that it is on. Um, so technically there's three straps holding that whole section down. Um, technically, but, but just the one strap for the top. So yeah, anyway, so according to SatNav, ETA there is half past three, but it is seven hours and 20 minutes driving uh, to get there. We need to stop for a break on the way, 45 minute break. So based on that, it's gonna be quarter past four, and that's assuming there's no traffic. So I don't think this is getting tipped today. I'm, I honestly don't know if the boss intended for it to be tipped today or not. I don't know. Um, it's touch and go. Truth be told, I could have got here an hour earlier if I woke up an hour earlier. Um, and then it would have got tipped. So there is a chance he was expecting to be tipped today, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm still recovering from, bit, from my illness. <laughs> Such is life, such is life. But yeah, we'll leave there now. So the, the sawmill's on the left. We've, obviously, you now know we've left the sawmill. Someone did say to me, he get, they goes, um, oh yeah, I did see your car's not there. I did wonder where, where you've been. Thought maybe you left your job. But no, we just moved yards now. So my car is no longer located here. I don't think there's anyone being loaded. Look, no, so, but we still, we do still get loaded out of you, right? In fact, this morning I was supposed to load out of there, but it got changed last night to do this Sterling run. So we um, we still go in there. I, I do like going in there. Good guys, good guys. As is Tetbury and uh, Melcourt Tetbury. Bunch of bunch of lovely lads and ladies. So yeah. Anyway, um, this video is probably going to be over a couple of days, I would imagine, because I can't just can't just drive seven miles to, to Sterling and then be like, oh, delivery made. Thanks for watching, can't do that. <laughs> so this video will be over a couple of days. Uh, I'll probably see you somewhere on the way up. Like I said, it's seven hours before there yet, so long, long, long time ago, uh, time away. So yeah, it's just, uh, it's eight o'clock. I will see you a little bit later, bye-bye. Okay, situation report is this. So we've been driving for two hours. Uh, it's not, not too long, uh, but we had to make a judgment call just now. Uh, there's a lot of traffic. We are, no, we want this lane. There's a, there's a lot of traffic up on the M6 near Birmingham area. Uh, and according to the matrix signs, there's a two hour delay. According to the news, there's a lorry on its side, been an incident between a lorry and a car, and the motorway's shut. So uh, we've taken the executive decision to go via the M6 toll. So that is the way we are gonna go now. So what happens is I pay for up my car to put it down as an expense, it gets paid back basically. Uh, but I ain't sitting around in traffic for two hours. In fact, the sat-nav won't even let me sit in traffic for two hours. It'll try and divert me to roads that aren't busy. Uh, it, it was 
coming off the motorway, going down some A roads, and there was some B roads, back corner road basically. Um, and I thought, nah, I'm just going to sit on the motorway, M6 toll, and go round and then join back on to the M6. So that is what we're going to do. We are on the toll. So we got to think about a couple of things. We definitely need to stop for some fuel on the way up. Um, sorry, my nose is still bugged up, so it's hard to talk. <laughs> we still got to get fuel on the way up. Uh, we've got just under half a tank, but we are still six hours away, so that is going to eventually dip down. So we need to top up a fuel. Um, also, we need to get a break in on the way up as well. We're on two hours, well, just over two hours, two hours 15, which means we've got, uh, well, we can do four and a half, so uh, just two hours and 15 minutes before we need to stop for a break. So, is that service is down there? I'm not sure. So we need to stop within the next two hours and 15 minutes for a break. And we also need to stop for fuel as well. And we're six hours away, so that means we can stop. We've got to do at least an hour and a half's worth of driving, so that leaves us with four and a half hours, so we can do the rest after we've had our break. So yeah, between one hour, basically, <laughs> long story short, between 1 hours and 30 minutes and 2 hours and 15 minutes from now, so it's a 45 minute window, between that 45 minutes we need to stop somewhere for a break and fill up with fuel. Uh, that is the aim. Question is, where is that going to be? I don't actually know. I don't know, I ain't got a clue. Maybe Gretna Green, potentially? That might be too far north, I'm not sure, before we need to stop, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, but we definitely won't be making the delivery today now. Uh, we won't be there till like nearly five o'clock, I think. So it's definitely a delivery for tomorrow morning, 100%. Okay. I always get <laughs> a little bit confused which ones I should use. We definitely don't use the right hand side, we use the left hand side. going to follow this lorry. This one's using this one over here, look, so we'll use that one as well. We've got the card ready. Got no idea how much it costs. Audio and video recording in operation, it says. Well, that's fine. Same for me. Same for me. Green light for you. Lovely. Do, 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 do. Fourteen ninety. Need a receipt, please. Thank you. Right, so I can go there. We paid for that. We can claim that back in the expenses. A lovely job lead. Let's get ourselves clear. Make our way to the left so we can build up speed. And yeah, so we're still five hours and forty minutes away from where we need to be. Uh, but we need to, like I said, we need to stop for a break and stuff as well. So I'll see you uh, once we stop for a break, probably. See you in a bit. Right, we stopped at Charnock North Services, I think we're at. Uh, we've had a 30 minute break, almost, just about to finish. And there we go, 29 momentary. Oh, there we go, 30 minutes. So we've now had a break. So now we can crack on to our destination. Um, so we've still got four hours left before we get there. Uh, this is like the final stretch basically up into Scotland and then uh, go to there, Falkirk, basically, just north of Falkirk. Uh, if we look onto the computer system, uh, yeah, trip info, there we go. So we've done four hours, three minutes of driving, that's our total for the day as well, we've just had a 45 minute break. So another four hours uh, means we should finish the day on just over eight hours driving. Um, so yes, we're going to crack on. I will see you when we get probably to Stirling at about 20 to 5-ish. I'm going to assume there's a bit of traffic on the way up. So, yeah, see you there. Okay, we are 
on the final stretch now to get this delivery off. The first delivery of the day, are we even going to get it off today? <laughs> That's the question. Um, so you join me now, we, we've done almost eight hours for the day. Uh, and we're now going to see if we can get this off. We've got a couple of options for parking up for the night. You've got Sterling Services. There's also this truck stop here, which looks pretty busy. Well, it doesn't look busy, but it looks like pretty full. So that probably won't be an option. Uh, but there's Sterling Services, that truck stop. Just before we turn right to go into the place we're going down, looks like there's like a car park on the left. And I can see on Google Maps that there's a truck not in the car park, but is used the car park to spin round to come back out and then reverse back up so he's facing the main road. Uh, but if I had to pick my preferred parking spot, it's going to be outside BMI, which is where we're delivering. So that's the aim, park outside BMI. We're only a mile away now, so um, we shall be there momentarily. Okay, take a left down this road. Basically, where all that smoke is coming out of there. I remember saying that last time. Where all that smoke is, that is where we are going. Right in front of us. Um, whether it's noisy or not, I don't actually know. It could be really noisy, for all I know. I'll find out, won't we? <laughs> um, but as for time, it is 4.21 right now. By the time we get there, it's going to be about 25 past. By the time we find someone, it, I think it's going to be half past. So, I don't think they're going to tip me, to be honest. But, I'm a trier. I'm not just going to park up outside and close my curtains. I'm going to go on in. Assuming the gates are open, I'm going to go on in. I'm going to try and get tipped tonight. Because that helps the company out if I do. Even if it's just by a couple of hours, it still helps out. That could be a couple of hours I get home earlier at the end of the week. Or it could be that I have to do extra work. <laughs> Don't know. But it's in there where we're going. See, look, this truck's here on the left. That was where I was thinking of potentially parking. But, okay, obviously you can't go there. We've got a van on the right. It does make me worry, though. If there's trucks parked there, why aren't they parked down here? That's my question. we're delivering in this place here. I don't see any forklifts. I think they're shut. I don't see anyone there. The other worry is if the gates open when we go in, it could be locked when we try and come back out again. <laughs> it could lock it while I'm halfway going around because there's a massive one-way system. See, look, this car's parked down here. That was my worry. I think, yeah, there's enough room. Are the gates open? Uh, there's only one gate open, so I'm not going to make that. So I think it's parking up here for the night. Let that car go past. I'm just going to reverse. Reverse back, and then I'm going to walk on in and ask. I can't drive the truck in, there's not enough room. Both both gates have one gate shut. I also need to go far enough back that trucks can get in and out, in case for whatever reason I'm not up early enough. And I've got to be cautious of this gate here as well. I don't want to be blocking that gate. How far is the car behind? Uh, there's a black car behind me, but it's far enough back. It's far enough back. <clears throat> right, so we're far enough back that we're not blocking access to that gate, and also people can get in and out. Right, I'm going to hurry up and see if they will tip me. So, see you in a second. Let's go. I go, right, right. Got a delivery for you. I guess seven in the morning, yeah? Um, we'll go here at seven. Yeah, that's cool. Out of interest, what is the cut off normally? What's up, mate? It's that. What? Walking, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. No, that's cool. Uh, so, seven in the morning, yeah? Seven, uh, yeah, we'll go here at seven. Sweet, brilliant. Thank you, mate. Have a good night.
okay. I just went in and unfortunately they won't tip us today. So we just piped up uh, here, look on the side of the road. I think you can probably see me on the main camera now and hear me as well. I could probably put my phone away. <laughs> yeah, so they won't tip me today. Uh, seven o'clock in the morning, they said. And I did say, well, I did ask what was the cutoff out of interest. The cutoff was 10 to four. So um, yeah, we wouldn't have got tipped today even if we uh, didn't need a break on the way up. But we had to have a break, so what can you do? What can you do? Am I even looking at my camera? The camera's there. I can see, I can see you flashing away there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess now I'll jump in the truck and do some paperwork and uh, clock off for the day. I think that'll be uh, the next port of call because there's nothing else we can do now, so. Never mind. So, I'm back outside. We'll uh, just check the load. Oh, that's about to come a bit loose, that. Just make sure the load is still on and still in one piece. Uh, we've got two options. We can either leave it strapped up or unstrap it. I am leaning towards unstrapping it, to be honest with you. Uh, because it's not going to fall off and we've literally just got to go down there and turn right. So yeah, I probably will unstrap it so it's ready to go in the morning right next to people's houses look so got to be quiet tonight <laughs> don't be blaring my music too loud uh yeah i don't see any signs that say you can't park up that's what i'm on the lookout for now normally that you'll find them on like lamp posts but there's no signs to say you can't park here i might have a little wander down there and have another look Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, you joined me in the morning. We parked up on this road. Bit of bush there. Part up on this road. <laughs> uh, it's seven o'clock. We've just been let in. Uh, we've been we've been up since. Um, there's a lot of trees like just hanging around there. Uh, we've been up since quarter past six this morning. Did all our checks. Then we were just literally pulled up right outside their gate um, since quarter to seven. And then for fifteen minutes, we're just waiting outside. Uh, they finally opened the gates and they let us in. So here we are now. Just driving round, not wearing the high vis because I don't plan on getting out of the truck. Done all my checks this morning and everything's okay. Look, the trees are like proper hanging out. Um, and once we get into position here, we just got to sit on the bunk. So we don't need to get out at all. I've already undone the straps, did that last night. So we were strapless <laughs> last night. Um, we've got to get to the right to get around this corner, but there's bloody trees here make that turn just played it uh and yeah so after this we've got to go get loaded from glasgow i think it was i think it was glasgow we're in edinburgh uh no not edinburgh we're in uh, near fur kirk right now but we've got to pop down to glasgow get reloaded and then that is going all the way to portsmouth so we've got a nice long run all the way back down it's good and bad right i i really do enjoy the good run, uh, the good long runs i really love them it's bad for the videos because this, w <laughs> this one video is now going to be over three days, I think. I plan on getting like a couple of videos edited, but um, I might be able to do so, I suppose. But um, yeah, so today's, today's Wednesday, isn't it? I haven't even turned my watch on. Today's Wednesday. We started this video yesterday, which is Tuesday. We won't get down to Portsmouth today, so it'll be Thursday before it's delivered. So what I'll probably do is be recording all week, get this video recorded until Thursday morning where we deliver in Portsmouth and then I'll probably start recording another video after Portsmouth um, and then that'll be Thursday and Friday so I'd, I'll be recording every day this week apart from Monday but it'll only be two videos whereas I could have got like maybe three videos out of it I don't know anyway I believe they tip us here this is the same sort of stuff we've got on it's three minutes past seven now uh, we're not in a rush because we're not going to get this delivery made today, obviously, down in Portsmouth. We've got to go and get loaded. That's the priority. It is Glasgow, isn't it, that we're going to? I think it was Glasgow. We're going to G334ED. 
which is, yeah, it's near Glasgow. So it's about 40 minutes away from where we are now. And I don't know what it is we're picking up either. Looking on Google, they, they do like, it looks like plastic pottery tubs, which could be a nightmare, strapping down. But it looks like they could also do bolt bags as well. So it could be anything. We'll see when we get there. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, just like that, we're tipped. Fully uh, empty. Just taking them all off. So now we can uh, crack on now to Glasgow. Like I said, it's uh, just over 40 minutes to get there. So uh, let's get cracking. Right, we've got paperwork. We've, uh, we're a little bit clearer now what we're doing. So it's actually going to Jersey. Uh, that's where Norman Limited is. Um, so we're, but we don't take it to Jersey. We take it to Pro Freight in uh in portsmouth been there loads of times um yeah not too bad anyway we've just been told to sit out here someone will come and get us in a minute so lovely jumpy right we're currently being loaded well actually tell a lie we've been loaded i'm in the process of strapping up i need four more of these there we go all four I'll be honest, there's one pallet I'm not particularly keen on, is that one right there? Seems to be slanting forward already. But we'll see what we can do, just have to drive carefully I think. Okay, that's just loaded, building up the air now. These are the pallets we got on. Uh, and again, double strap on the top. I might have to change this one again, I'm not sure. I think it'd be right. Uh, it's literally just tugging it down here, though, in this corner. I think it'd be right. I might just need to pull it up a bit tighter. There we go. It won't go much tighter than that. Yeah, it should be right. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll, we'll do a couple of stops on the way down. Like I said, I'm already a little bit concerned about that one. That one's already leaning forward. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on it. Make sure we don't break hard. But on the record, it was like that before we even set off. <laughs> so there we go, that's the load. Let's crack on, make our way back down south. Okay, we are at Lancaster Services, just topping up with fuel so that we can continue our journey down. Uh, checked all the straps, they're all okay still. So yeah, happy days. I think we can drive for another 45 minutes once uh, once we fill up here. And then um, I might actually see if we can get down to Sutton Scotland Services on the 34 So a little bit further than Cheveley. I think that's my plan now. I hope. Okay, right, we've stopped for a break. We've stopped at Sharnock, I think it is. There we go. We are technically in a coach bay, but never mind. It's ram packed full of trucks. So the only place we could stop, plus we're on like four hours and 15 minutes of driving, so we didn't have much. Time left. Question is now, so I'm def I can definitely get as far as certain Scotney. Um, it's just a case of whether I head to certain Scotney or go back to the yard, one or the other. I'm okay to do a night out; doesn't bother me. I'm happy to go to certain Scotney, but the boss might want me to go back to the yard so he doesn't pay a night out. I don't know. Okay, seven more minutes and we shall leave here. We have decided that we are actually going to be going back to the yard. So uh, one less night out in the truck. Uh, I think the mileage difference was like two miles. It's a case of going down the M5 to 11A or coming off and sort of going towards Oxford uh, via the M40. There wasn't much in it, literally two miles in it. Um, so we're going to come off 11A, go up Birdlip and go back to Swindon via 419417. Uh, and then early start tomorrow to get down to Portsmouth for the first thing. Now we only need seven more minutes here, which means when we leave here, let me just turn my sat nav on. When we leave here, we should be back in the yard like quarter to five, give or take. So yeah, not too shabby, quarter to five. And then um, go home and then start again tomorrow morning. Morning everyone, it is the next day. We're just in the yard now. Gonna get this day, uh, gonna get the truck started in a minute. Can you tell I've really just woken up, I can't get my words out. <laughs> we're gonna get the truck started up in a minute, we do our checks, and then we'll crack on down to Portsmouth. Uh, it's half past five in the morning right now. And uh, yeah, so let's get going. I'll probably see you when we get down there, see in a bit. Okay, we are here. 
Uh, we're in Portsmouth. Just in a queue of trucks and vans at the moment. Uh, just waiting to be tipped. Um, yeah, we're here at least. It's uh, quarter past seven. So they've only been open 15 minutes. So we've got it pretty much on time. Um, so yeah, just got to queue up now, wait for them to send me to the place they want it and then unstrap it and then they can take it all off. Lovely gentlemen. Well, we have moved now to the front of the queue and we're on the left-hand side now as well. Apparently the right-hand side is for bays, so they got to go on bays or something. Uh, whereas we got pallets, so we've kind of been given a slight priority, which is quite nice. Yes. Okay, truck is being offloaded now. We've got a forklift on the other side of the trailer. Taking them off, all the straps are off. Good to go. Uh, doesn't look like we're gonna be here too long. Maybe another 10 minutes and we'll be out of here, which is good. And then we just head on back down there and head on out. But yeah, it's good. Nice and quick. So yeah, that's going to be uh, the end of this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. A nice little trip up to uh, to Scotland, Stirling, Glasgow, and all the way back down to Portsmouth. Um, yeah, it's been a good little trip. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.